Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have the Unreal Engine Mega Pack on Humble Bundle. This one is probably the best Unreal Engine bundle yet on Humble, at least in my humble opinion. We're going to get back to the details of it. I'm going to show you some of the little caveats you need to know about as well. But first, let's start off with some eye candy. One of those things you want to be aware of as well, with this bundle, even though it is for Unreal Engine, you can actually export a lot of this stuff out uh, and use it in other game engines. For example, if you want to use this in uh, the Unity game engine, you can, uh, as you actually can see right here. This is the same level imported into Unity. Now, there are some artifacts from the import. This is a lot of detail to pull across, but as you can see, it still looks pretty damn good. You can also get things over to uh, the Godot game engine, Unreal, etc. But here you can see this exact same level running in Unity. So even if you're using another game engine, uh, there are ways to get stuff out of Unreal Engine. I have the linked article down below. But let's head back over to Unreal Engine because obviously that's where things will look the best. And uh, this is one such environment. Uh, this is a medieval village. As you can see here, there is a ton to it. Uh, we'll just kind of do a quick navigation around town. Uh, yeah, it, this is kind of indicative of what you can expect from these environments. And then here's where the world falls off. Uh, but realistically, it, it's just full of uh, blueprints. Some of these actually have interiors. Some do not. Let's see, this one. Yeah, a little bit of an interior here as well, uh, which makes it even more impressive. Uh, but yeah, this, this bundle is um, it's impressive. I, I really do have to say that. So that's one of the assets in this particular bundle. And here is another asset. This one is Pirate Island. Uh, just take a look at what's going on here. Let me just turn off all the gizmos here. You've got little jumping fish going on here. you got birds flying around. Uh, you do need to enable a couple things to get this one to work. Uh, just one of those things to be aware of. It won't even actually show up as a level until you load the required plugin. So it uses the water plugin and a train plugin uh, just for the demo level, by the way. So you can see this is Pirate Island. There's even this skull-capped mountain here in the background. Uh, again, absolutely stunning. These are huge, by the way. You might notice it's chugging a bit. It wasn't chugging when I wasn't recording, so part of it is definitely down to the recording, but these are all pretty large assets. You're going to notice down here, so, for example, this doesn't show up. This level doesn't show up here until you follow this advice right here. So you got to enable the water and landmass plugins, uh, and then once that's done, the level will show up. So it won't, Unreal Engine won't show uh, levels that have plugin dependencies, apparently. But yeah, this is the Pirate Island uh, and let me just go inside of one of these things, see if there's actually an interior on this particular one. No, it doesn't look like this one has an interior. Uh, but yeah, again, if you're looking for a pirated theme game, you got some just stunning assets here. Um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to need to show on that one. Next up, this is Modular Church. This is one of the Nanite plugin or Nanite assets here that basically just means it's super high resolution. As you see, we're going to zoom right in and look at the crack here. You get an idea of the amount of detail on this guy. We can go inside. There's not really an interior per se, but uh, there's one of these vestibules and, uh, and so on and so forth. So all the pieces that go together to make it. These are like five to 10 gigabytes in size, by the way. So these are all uh, Nanite ready, 4K textures. This is modular pack uh, for creating uh, this church environment. We got a couple other Nanite packs. For example, the Nanite modular home pack is what you see here, all the walls and such for making a kind of a medieval-ish style home here. The Nanite Castle Collection is similar. It's a bunch of stuff that you would find inside of a castle, uh, including apparently a giant stone statue of a dragon. But you've got things like beds, chairs, tapestries, thrones, chests, and so on. Again, all with 4K textures, all super, I mean, just kind of so you get an idea of the resolutions that you're dealing with here. Uh, this is the castle pack here, and then we'll show you one last environment. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Viking Village. Uh, pretty full of stuff here. So if you want to do a Viking-style game, you need to have, you know, basically if you want to make Skyrim, everything you need is here to create a Viking Village. Uh, this one is the same setup as the Pirates, though. you got to enable landmass and water for it to work, or for it to appear. Uh, let's go inside one of these buildings. So this one, you can see, has a full interior, and including stuff like meat and stuff on the table. It's, it's amazing just how uh, in-depth many of these packs are. Now, the interesting thing here is this one requires the water plug-in, but as you can see by these boats floating in space, for some reason, the water didn't work. So we got some uh, fish just sort of flopping out of nothing and into nothing. But it gives you an idea of exactly what you are getting in this pack, and, and I think that uh, 
yeah, these, these are definitely one of the best Unreal Engine Humble Bundles yet, in my humble opinion. And as I saw and showed earlier on, you can get these into other game engines. Uh, I did do a guide on how to export out from Unreal Engine. There's multiple different ways. If you're just bringing one asset across, it's super easy. Uh, but if you want to bring an entire scene, this particular case, I used something. You'll see it right up here, Unreal to Unity plugin. Again, I will link the article how to do that stuff down below. So if you're using Unity or Godot or whatever else, you want to see how to get stuff out of Unreal Engine, that guide will show you how. So let's go and come back over to the plugin or to the bundle. And here we are. So this is kind of a mixed bag on this one. This is the first time ever an Unreal Engine has had a redemption on the game store. Uh, and that's awesome. So your actual assets show up in your uh, Unreal Engine Epic Games Launcher. So over here, all the Nanite stuff, for example, it's here. So you want to add it to your project, literally just add it to your project. So there's the church we saw earlier on. Also notice this 4.8 gigabytes or the modular house, 10.7 gigabytes. These Nanite assets are big. Uh, so anyways, they do redeem directly on the Epic Game marketplace, which is very cool. The downside is each one is its own redemption key. So if you've ever bought games on Steam, uh, you know what we're dealing with here. Basically, you just come into uh, the Unreal Engine game, the Epic Game Store. Then you want to do is flip over to the store over here, and then you can go over here to this little uh, pop down of your name, I think. All right. I think the Epic Game Store just froze up because it's the Epic Game Store. Yep, so then when you do, you head on over here and then you click redeem code. So you're going to get a number of different redeem codes over on uh, Humble Bundle. Literally just punch each one in here and you are good to go. Yes, it is the Epic Game Store. It's never fun, but at least these are just like as if you purchase them on the Epic Game Stores. That means you will continue to get updates as they are updated, etc., which is very cool. All right, so let's do a quick rundown of the pack. As with all Humble Bundles, these are organized into tiers. You hire, buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all of the lower value tiers included. You decide how your money is out allocated between Humble, Publisher, Charity, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. This one, at the $1 tier, you're getting the Nanite Series Food and Dining Kit and Medieval Market Kit. So if you need a lot of uh, food, uh, you've got uh, a lot of food for $1. And then we jump up to the median tier here, uh, which would be probably about $13 right now. Anyways, this is based off the average paid price. Uh, here you're getting the Ancient Mountain Top, the French Village, uh, which in all honesty, of all the environment packs, this one is kind of the most disappointing I've seen. Uh, the Nanite Series Modular Houses, the Blacksmithing Kit, the Village Kit, the Church Kit Bash, uh, the War Camp Kit, the Castle Kit, the Harbor Kit, and then the two from the $1 tier. And then finally, for the full $25 or $33.23 Canadian, you're getting the Medieval Town, the Viking Village, and the Pirate Island. I showcased all three of these in action, and I think every single one of them is actually stunning. Uh, by the way, Medieval Town is the one that you also saw in Unity. Uh, so uh, you're getting the Olympus Pack, House on a Hill, War Camp, the Modular Stylized Desert Town, and then all of the other stuff. And basically, that's it. That is the, uh, what do they call this one again? The Unreal Engine Mega Pack Bundle. Uh, it's nice to see this redemption on the Epic Game Store. I would show you the, the actual key part, but I don't want to show you my keys. Uh, but literally, all you're going to do is take the keys, uh, head on over to the Epic Games, do the... Uh, Epic Game Launcher once again, and go to your name up here, and then redeem code, and then put the code in there, and redeem each one. The only other thing you need to be aware of, once again, is for each one of these assets, you're going to want to go into Edit, and then Plugins, and you're going to want to find Water, this guy right here, make sure that one's enabled, and then you're going to want to have Landmass. And make sure that that guy's enabled. Once both of those are enabled, uh, the actual demo level will show up. Uh, by the way, I didn't really showcase it here, but all of this stuff is basically... So go back to the Viking Village. You're going to find uh, everything is ready to drop in. So basically, you've got uh, break down all the meshes, all the modular buildings. So here's the buildings that go together to create this. Here are blueprints controlling them, for example. And then literally, you could just drag and drop into the world to instantiate. And then, boom, there is the house we just created. So that is actually very quite cool. Um, it, it's a very comprehensive pack. The only complaint that I would have with this one is that they don't really follow the standard Unreal Engine hierarchy for add-ons. So sometimes you're, like, digging through there trying to figure out, you know, where the heck things were. So a lot of times, you know, Blueprints will be in a folder called Blueprints. But as you saw in that case, they weren't. But that's a really small quibble. Uh, it's an excellent bundle, really high-quality assets. I'm curious, what do you think of the Unreal Engine Mega Pack? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.